Oculus Quest 2 vs PSVR 2 The Ultimate Comparison If you're new to virtual reality and looking for an excellent VR gaming experience, you'll soon have a few options, including the Oculus or Meta Quest 2 and the PlayStation VR 2. Unfortunately, despite the two-year age difference between the two headsets, each has strengths and weaknesses, making it difficult to decide which is best for you. This video compares the PSVR 2 to the Oculus Quest 2, allowing you to decide when the PSVR 2 will be released later this year. Then, we'll compare specifications, features, and pricing to see how they compare. So, watch till the end and subscribe to MetaHub for more! Here we begin! Design and Comfort One of the most well-known VR headsets is the Oculus or Meta Quest 2. Furthermore, Quest 2 and PSVR 2 have distinct and noticeable design and aesthetics, making them instantly recognizable. When it comes to comfort, PSVR 2 is still unreleased and speculative. However, the predecessor, PSVR, had an innovative halo strap solution that helped to alleviate the headset's front heaviness. As a result, PSVR is well known for being one of the most comfortable virtual reality headsets on the market and PSVR 2 will most likely improve on this. In comparison, the out-of-the-box Quest 2 strap is less comfortable. As a result, DIY solutions at the Quest subreddit are common, with users attaching the PSVR Halo strap to the Quest 2 for increased comfort. Despite the Quest 2's lighter overall weight, this is why the Quest 2 Elite strap accessory is so popular. Specs and Graphics the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 CPU and 6GB of RAM power The Oculus Quest 2 It has an LCD screen that can run up to 120Hz in its experimental mode and supports 1832x1920 pixel per eye, 90Hz is the current default setting. Sony has confirmed that the display has a resolution of 2000 by 2040 per eye. This is on a 4K HDR capable OLED display. It has 90Hz and 120Hz refresh rates. This certainly suggests a benefit in terms of display sharpness. In terms of power, we know that the PSVR 2 will be powered solely by the PS5 via a single cord. The wired teether may put off some people who are used to the freedom provided by the Quest 2, but it has its advantages. The PS5's massive processing power, which includes a 16GB of GDDR6 RAM on a custom AMD Zen 2 GPU, will almost certainly outperform the Quest 2. This may imply that the PSVR 2 can run VR games with higher system requirements such as Half-Life Alex. However, because of the Oculus Quest 2 can connect to a PC, a wired or wireless, to stream these games, it can compete with the PSVR 2. Resolution A significant difference between the two headsets is their resolutions, and thus their panel types. The Quest 2's LCD displays has a resolution of 1832 by 1920 whereas Sony claims the PSVR 2 will use OLED panels with a per-eye resolution of 2000 by 2040 According to the new PSVR 2 product site, is two separate displays. The primary distinction here is between LCD and OLED displays. In short, the PSVR 2's displays are more powerful. As a result, they can provide infinite levels of contrast with more accurate colors, including the deeper blacks that OLED panels have become known for. Furthermore, according to a recent tweet from Ross Young, the PSVR 2 will win in pixel density with a PPI of over 800 per eye. This is said to be double the size of Quest 2's and should allow for more detailed imagery. Controllers The PSVR and the Quest 2 controllers support 6 degrees of freedom which means that the movement is tracked in the virtual world. In addition, the third generation Quest 2 controllers support partial finger tracking and capacitive sensors. While the controllers are powered by AA batteries, they are not rechargeable, unlike the PSVR 2 controllers. Similarly, the PlayStation 5 DualSense controller is the most cutting-edge controller on the market, with dynamic actuators that change pressure intensity based on what is done in the game. For example, a rusted lever in a video game is more difficult to pull on the controller than a lever in perfect condition. These innovative technologies will most likely be used in PSVR 2 hand controllers. Tracking The most significant distinction between the two headsets is that Quest 2 can be used independently, whereas PlayStation VR 2 requires a PlayStation 5 to function. In practice, this reduces the portability and general usability of PSVR 2 compared to the Quest 2. However, it results from more capable processing, as the Qualcomm Snapdragon XR2 chipset found in the Pico Neo 3 Link and Neo 3 Pro is less powerful than that of a PlayStation 5. Similarly, Quest 2 and PSVR 2 support video pass-through for ease of use when locating controllers or communicating with others outside gaming sessions. While Quest 2 has hand tracking, released in a recent update by Meta, former Facebook, PSVR 2 has built-in eye tracking, 
which can increase immersion in VR content experiences. It will most likely have hand tracking in future updates. Features The Oculus Quest line of VR headsets introduced several novel features that have transformed how people use VR. Sony will almost certainly want to incorporate some of the features of its own VR headset. The most striking similarity is in the PSVR 2's controllers, which will be designed similarly to the Oculus Quest 2. This circular design which Sony describes as having an orb shape is similar to the Oculus Quest 2's touch controllers. Finger tracking is also available on both controllers. However, the PSVR 2 controllers will expand on this by incorporating the DualSense controller's haptic feedback and adapted triggers. These features have received widespread praise from PS5 owners. As a result, we anticipate a significant improvement over the PSVR's current PS Move controllers. The controllers are in black, which will please PlayStation fans wish for a black PS5 and black PS5 controller. Surprisingly, the headset will also provide feedback via a single built-in motor. For example, players will know when a character's pulse is elevated or when objects pass close to the character's head. Eye tracking will also be included in PSVR 2. This means that the headset will track where you look, possibly using this as additional input for the game character. The tracking systems in the PSVR 2 and Quest 2 are similar, but they may differ. Both VR headsets will use the headset to track the VR controllers. They deviate, however, when it comes to other tracking methods. The Quest 2 detects your environment and movement using inside-out tracking via its cameras. This eliminates the need for an external camera setup, which was previously required for the base PSVR system. Sony has confirmed that tracking will be done internally, eliminating the need for an extra camera. Setup on the front of setting up each device, there may be little to choose between them, but the Quest 2 may have the advantage due to one simple factor, wireless connectivity. You can use the Oculus Air Link feature to connect the Quest 2 to a PC as long as you have a stable 5GHz wireless connection and your powerful gaming PC or gaming laptop is wired into your network via an Ethernet cable. If you want a simpler experience, you can buy the Oculus Link cable which provides a single cable connection between your headset and PC, opening up a whole new world of VR, including the ability to play Steam VR games. Sony claims that the PSVR 2 will connect to the PS5 via a single USB-C cable, which compares favorably to the Quest 2 and the original PSVR, which required you to plug in cables to the console, headset, and TV before you could get started. In this regard, there isn't much to choose between them, though you could argue that the Quest 2 wins simply because of its superior wireless connectivity. Games When it comes down to it, the most important aspect of any gaming device, whether a console or a virtual reality headset, is its games. The game library in Quest 2 is quite extensive. It includes all of the must-have classic VR games such as Superhot, The Walking Dead, Saints and Sinners, and Beat Saber as well as some great exclusives. For example, Star Wars, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, and The Climb 2 are only available on Oculus devices. It lacks the power to run the most powerful VR games, which are currently exclusive to PC-based VR systems, basically Half-Life Alex. but this can be mitigated by connecting Quest 2 to a PC. The PS5 is backward compatible, which means it can play all of the PSVR games that are currently available. For those who haven't tried PSVR yet, this includes games like Beat Saber and Superhot, and exclusives like Iron Man VR and Astrobot Rescue Mission. This backward compatibility should allow these games to be played with the PSVR 2 headset. The titles may also receive a next generation upgrade. Sony is also expected to launch its PSVR 2 headset with impressive exclusives similar to the PS4 and PS5. The company's first announcement is Horizon Call of the Mountain by Guerrilla and Fire Sprite. According to the sources, PSVR 2 games include Resident Evil Village, Firewall Ultra, Star Wars, Tales from the Galaxy's Edge, Demio, No Man's Sky Photo Mode, and The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners Chapter 2 Retribution. Let us know your views in the comments below. Subscribe for more!